Why is there so much drama between Jordan fans and LeBron fans? I'm Tony. Welcome back to Street Ball Strategy. Rage inside like an Avenger. Celebration going gather round because I'm ready for dinner. I'm about to have a feast, no second place. I'll be the winner. Let's get ready to rumble. Today we're talking about the beef between hardcore Michael Jordan fans and hardcore LeBron James fans. And why with some of them, there's so much drama between the two, like so much blatant hatred between the two sets of fans. Now obviously this is an opinion video, right? So I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna state my opinion and obviously I think my opinion is right and correct, but it, just because it's my opinion, I think it's right, does not make it fact. So if you completely disagree with it, that's completely fine with me. Also, this video is just kind of for fun. It's just kind of a thought experiment. Maybe it, I make some points that you haven't thought of before and it gives you a different way to consider things and broaden your mind if you're one of the people that you are stuck in your way of thinking like one is better than the other. Maybe this helps to sort of broaden your mind. And for those of you who don't really you know, care one way or the other. Hopefully it helps you to understand as to why these few people who make these like hatred posts on social media, why they do what they do. So let's talk about why there is occasionally so much drama between LeBron fans and Jordan fans. Now the players and fans that I'm talking about are the people who on social media go out of their way to make hateful posts about certain players. And the point of these posts are to start some kind of drama about this, whatever topic they're choosing to talk about. What they're usually doing is making some kind of hateful comment about another player so that people will then comment and they can start a huge argument down in the comments. Now, thankfully, these people are few and far between. There's not many of them, thankfully. Like, there are many who will comment on a post that is made, but there's not many that actually create the hateful post. And that's who I'm addressing, right? The people that actually, the, the post does not exist. It doesn't have to exist. But then these people go out of their way to make hateful posts to intentionally start drama. Thankfully, those people are few and far between. There's not many of them, but because they create so much drama, so much havoc, so much noise on social media, and like for me, for instance, in the Facebook groups of which I'm involved in many, a few of those groups and a few of the people in those groups are constantly starting up drama between players. So there's not many of them, but they create such a ruckus that it becomes very annoying. So there's probably multiple reasons why they do this, but to me, the main reason that they go about doing this is because, okay, here's the scenario that I see, that I foresee in my mind that takes place, right? These people are watching an NBA game and they get bored while they're watching the game. And I have a video about why that probably is right here. For whatever reason, these people, to them, boredom is the enemy. They are terrified, horrified, scared to death of being bored. Why that is, there could be multiple reasons, personal reasons as to why. And if they were to see this and, and defend themselves, they would say, oh, I'm not terrified of it. I just don't like it. Like, it's, that's not, it's not fun to be bored. To me, it, they are. They are terrified, horrified. They have some kind of phobia about being bored. So boredom is the enemy now. In order to stop being bored, the easy, or at least one of the easiest, laziest, most convenient ways to uh, disrupt boredom is to start drama. And the, one of the easiest ways to do that, I mean, especially when we're talking about the scenario of watching a basketball game and getting bored, uh, if, especially if they're watching their favorite player, is to then create a hate-filled post about or, or against other players so that they know that it, it will start arguments down in the comments and then they can engage in those comments or cowardly 
you know, maybe they don't even engage in the comments down below. Maybe they just sort of spectate. They create a post, never comment, and just sort of watch the drama unfold. I think not, not only is that weak and lazy, but to not even participate in the post that you created, the hate-filled post, to me that's cowardly. So whether they engage or not, they create this, this hate online that does not need to exist just to start drama so that they are not bored. To me, that's the main reason that these posts exist in the first place. And just to be clear, I don't participate in these posts. At the most, I'll just jump in and say, hey, all y'all being stupid, like this is a stupid waste of time. Why are y'all arguing about nothing? Like maybe I'll post that occasionally, but that's as far as I go. I don't get into the argument because I'm one of the people that like, when I say I don't want drama, that means not only do I not want my own drama, I don't want to witness or watch or be a part of anyone else's drama either. I just want peace and tranquility for myself and for everybody else. I don't want drama to exist at all. So it's not like I jump in on these posts and like, yeah, I can finally, you know, get my opinion out there and let everybody know what's up and, you know, try to sway people to agree with me. I don't like it at all. I think it's all a stupid waste of time. But because it is so prevalent in some corners of social media, I figured I would weigh in with my opinion as to why this takes place. So now let's see if there's some way we can kind of help or try to resolve this from not happening so much or making it like less intense. Unfortunately, there is no real satisfying answer, fix, resolution to this issue of like unnecessary hate popping up on social media. Because really, the only satisfying solution here would be like, okay, tell these people they're being stupid and they're wasting their time and their lives with this unnecessary hatred. Tell them to grow up, to mature, to stop being ignorant, to uh, just be a better person. And then they go, oh, didn't know I was doing that gonna stop gonna grow up and get better and then they stop and then it never happens ever again obviously that's not gonna happen because that doesn't happen those few people are looking for conflict they're looking to argue so anything you say unless you completely 100% agree with them and like bow down to them and say you're right you're absolutely right everything you said exactly the way you said it I, I exactly completely agree with you unless you say that even if you disagree the slightest degree they're looking for an opportunity to fight and argue with you they want the drama they need it they can't be bored because oh my god we wouldn't want that so anything to have the drama anything to have the argument the conflict so because we can't make these people change which is what we would want to do because that would solve the problem there really is no satisfying solution as to how to go about dealing with this. To me, the only real option, and it's obvious and, you know, it's not <laughs> satisfying at all, unfortunately, but the only real option as to what to do about these people is, if, when you encounter them on social media, is to block them. I know that's weak and it's obvious, but to me, whenever I see these people make these unnecessary, hateful posts, if I see them do it multiple times, like if I look at their name, hopefully they're not anonymous, because oh my god, but if they're not anonymous and you see their name and they post unnecessary hatred multiple times, just block them. Because there is no reasoning with them. There is no being rational with them or them being rational to begin with. They just want fights, they want drama, they want conflict, they're always gonna disagree with you. You can't calm them down, you can't talk sense into them, right? If that's never gonna happen, you're just gonna waste your time doing it. So the most engagement you should give them is to block them. I'm sorry that that's really the only true answer and point to this video. If you just don't want to be a part of the drama, you gotta get rid of the people that are starting the needless drama. Also, don't be confused and don't let them fool you because if, because I've done this, right? If you try to talk to them, reason with them, question them as to why they're creating 
unnecessary drama and hatred, what they will say is they're just debating. It's just debate. Like, why would you be in this group, this Facebook group, if you're not here to debate? So they will try to hide behind the veil of, oh, I'm not arguing, I'm not uh, fighting, I'm not starting drama, I'm just debating. Don't fall for that. They are not debating. That is not debate. Debate is you have one side, you have another side, both sides make their point, and then some kind of objective third-person body makes a, a judgment call as to who won the debate. Or at the very least, the debate is, I say what I think, you say what you think, and then that's it. It's just sort of a, a way to sort of inform each other as to what you think, and then there's really no winner or no loser. What they're doing is not debating. They're looking to argue with you, right? What they want, number one, is you to argue with them, so there's that drama, so that they're not bored, and then maybe, maybe, they want you to agree with them. But first, they want you to argue so they can defeat you. They can make you feel stupid. They can make you feel bad. And then they can get you to change your mind. That's not debate. That's just them picking a fight with you or anyone who will take the bait. It's not debating. Don't let them hide behind. We're just debating here. Debating is a, an exchange of ideas and information where maybe there's winner, maybe there's not, but then you move on. But debating is not over and over again trying to pick a fight in, through hatred that does not need to exist on a social forum. So unfortunately, the really only real answer to this is if you don't want to be a part of it, you're going to have to block who's ever doing this over and over again. That is how and why there is so much drama and hatred between LeBron fans and Jordan fans. My biggest point about this when I come across this on social media is if I ever address any of this other than to say you're being stupid and you're wasting your time, I at least try to be rational and tell them, hey look, you're never going to get anyone to agree with you. You're never going to get anyone to change their mind and agree with you. Not only that, but you already know that you're never going to get anyone to agree with you. And you're creating this hatred and this drama anyway, knowing you're never going to change anyone's mind. And the reason you're doing this is because you're a drama queen. You love the drama, you live for the drama, you need the drama, because otherwise you would be bored and we couldn't have that. It actually takes thoughts and patience and intelligence to be, you know, constructively critical about some other player or a game or a situation when it comes to you know criticizing basketball games or players that actually takes effort to be you know constructively critical or positive or make some kind of positive remark not only does that take like patience and thought and intelligence to do so as opposed to like just putting out blatant hatred which is the easiest laziest weakest thing you can do but you also know and understand that when you do put out that, that ignorant hatred in a social media post, people are going to react, right? They're going to fight with you, or at least they're going to fight with themselves. Like, you know that's going to happen. You're also manipulative because you know if you post something positive or if you're constructively critical of someone or a certain game, that the, the, the potential engagement for positive posts or anything along the lines of positive posts are not really going to get much engagement. People look at it, they might like it, and they move on, but they don't get in the comments and start fighting and start engaging. You know that if you post some kind of hatred, people are going to fight and argue and you can flame those fires. And I just think that's a terrible way to use social media. And it's not debate, it's just ignorance for the sake of ignorance in perpetuity. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, if you found it insightful at all, if you think that like, okay, like hopefully it kind of sparked thoughts and ideas, certain perspectives that maybe you had not thought of before and you think it's kind of interesting, then please subscribe to the channel. Also comment below and let me know like, what do you think? Why, why does this drama take place? And what can we do to help kind of improve it? But before you comment, make sure you hit that thanks button down below because when you hit that thanks button, it's gonna make your comment 
stand out and be highlighted from all the other comments. Not only that, but it also directly supports the channel when you hit that button. So for anyone that does, you know I genuinely appreciate it. As always, like, share, comment like I said. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever any video goes live on this channel. And until then, see you guys next week. That's when I realized what's inside me. You don't want none. Come and try me. Ain't you far to turn it around. Tell the opposition it's going down. Pin it to the floor. Never slowing now. Keep on climbing till we touch the sky now. Put my shades on. Let the top down. Tiger on the loose. Yeah, it's going down. I can't hit a finish. If it's me against the world, then I'm winning. Woo!